Hello and welcome to this tutorial from VisualNights.com. I'm going to show you how you can create Boolean effects on objects. Um, the result we're going to create uh, looks like this. We have an object with a sphere-like hole into it. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this box. I'm going to standard primitives and create a new box. Um, next, we're going to click on Sphere. You might want to turn on Autogrid. That's a little bit easier. And we're going to draw some uh, a sphere on it. Simple as that. Um, next, we're going to select the box again. Click on Standard Primitives and select Compound Objects. Next, we click on Boolean. And then we click on Pick Operand B. Next, select the sphere. Voila! Now we have a sphere-shaped hole into the box. Now, you can change the um, shape a little. You can do that with these options. Union. You add the sphere to the box. Intersection. Um, what, what happens here is that the intersecting vertices from the box and the sphere, they are kept and all the rest is deleted. Um, subtraction, that is what we just had, and subtraction B minus A. That's uh, like the sphere, which doesn't interact with the first op with the first operand, the box. Um, eventually cut, but um, I don't see the use of that actually. So <laughs> anyway, that's the first tutorial here, and I hope to see you again at visualnights.com, and please rate this video.